Hello guys and ladies, in this video what I bring to you is an unboxing of a new pocket video camera that I purchased called the Kodak ZI8, the black version. And the reason I purchased this pocket video camera is I wanted to have a secondary angle for different videos that I shoot. And I also wanted to purchase something a little bit more on the affordable side. I didn't want to have to spend another $700, $800 for another video camera. So I thought I would give this pocket video camera a shot. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into this unboxing. Alright, so just to point out here, I did buy some accessories to go along with this pocket video camera. And I purchased this on Amazon for about... I really can't remember. I purchased this about two weeks ago and I'm just now I'm getting around to unboxing it. But I believe it was around 110 to 120 on Amazon. But I remember checking before I started this video, it was around $98. So it seems to be going down, I guess, for the Christmas sale. But anyway, I will definitely, again, as I did with my Canon HF20, be doing a review. Or doing some quality tests going out probably to the park to see how well it performs so anyway this looks like this is where they put the actual camera so what I purchased also with my Kodak ZI is this uh, 8 gigabyte SDHC card uh, this camera does allow you to have external memory or it does have an expansion slot so that was really great you can store up to 32 gigabytes or you can supply up to 32 gigabytes of storage it does have 128 MB of internal storage but I really don't understand why they even put that in there I mean that's about two minutes worth of HD video I believe but anyway I also purchased this remote as another accessory again if you're like recording yourself you don't really want to have to go back and forth on the back of the camcorder I have to push start and pause or whatever so this was about ten dollars I believe this 8 gigabyte card I, be, I I just put the actual price on the video I can't remember to be honest but anyway here's the actual Kodak ZI8 so I hope this is the black version because this would definitely be going right back if this is the pink version so in a way yeah, I don't see it on here, so yeah, I'm gonna be very upset if this <laughs> it's the pink version. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get into this. Alright. Try my best not to destroy the box. Alright. So nice little package in here. I'm just really hoping it's not the pink version. Okay, nice. Okay, so I guess it's just what they have on all the boxes. In a way, we'll get to that in a second. Here we have some cables. Seems to be the adapters. And here's the HDMI cable, which I love that they included that. So you can't hook this up to your LCD TV and watch the video or your pictures. And here we have some more cables, some more parts for the actual, i unwrap those in a second here, but, uh, USB cable, I suppose, oh, okay, this is for the actual adapter, and we have this rechargeable battery for it, have a wrist strap, and we have a manual. Probably will have to look in here a little bit to learn a little bit about this camera. Let's anyway, put that to the side. So I won't really waste your time unwrapping all these different cords. Nothing really special about those. Just go ahead and get to this Kodak ZI8. See how it looks. Alrighty. Let's try to get a close up here. So what I like about this camera, so I guess I can go ahead and talk about it a little bit, is it's able to shoot in 1080p as well as 720p at uh, 30 or 60 frames per second. I might have to check that. I believe it is 60 frames per second. But I like the ability to change back and forth if I ever needed to. But of course, if you're shooting in, can't figure out how to get this off. If you're shooting in 1080p, 
you're gonna need a lot more memory than if you're shooting in 720p but you can also shoot in other modes I will list that on the video as well um, this is a 2.5 inch screen here so that was great and I hope this comes off let's see All right, so just to give you an idea how this looks, looks really nice. Have this piano gloss on the front of it. They do have a lot of accessories for this, a lot of different cases, so you can customize it to your needs. And here we have what the actual SDHC car will go. And below that, we have let's see if I can figure out how to open this. All right. So you just push this little latch here upwards and it unlocks it. So this is how you can pull the data off of the ZI8. I would assume that it's going to be, since I'm going to be using the SDHC uh, card, I can just pull that card out instead and not bother to hook this up to the, my laptop or computer. So just push it back in. On the bottom we have a tripod area, which is great. Again, I probably won't be using this uh, as my main source for shooting the video. This will probably be out to the side somewhere. So it'll be on a tripod. It won't be moving or anything like that. Here we have the... Turn it around here. We have a power port. Then we have this HDMI where you can hook it up to your TV. And... Lastly, which, which I really like is it has this external microphone jack. So you can hook up other stereo microphones and the Rode video mic that I just purchased. I can also hook that up to it. I doubt it that I will and I doubt I'll be recording or using this mostly for audio. It's just really going to be used for video. So it's a great feature to have. And yeah, just for a size comparison, I guess... I really don't remember the dimensions. Here's my iPhone. So it's not really much bigger or much wider. It's a little bit thicker than the iPhone, but this is the second gen. But it's about the same size and width and about the same size and height, just maybe a little bit smaller. Alright, so next let's just get to this other accessory that I purchased. I purchased a case for it. This doesn't come with one, so let's see how I can get this unpackaged. All right. Move that to the side, and oh yeah, I forgot I even purchased a little small tripod for it. Like I said, it's been like two weeks since I even had time to even think about this. But anyway, that's all that was in the box. Like I said, I bought a... Well, I believe this was like a kit. That's what it was. This came with a kit, so you, if you bought the uh, the case, you would get the tripods as well. But anyway, let me get this case out of here. So, anyway, we have different compartments in it. I really like what I was seeing online. I can easily stick uh, different SDHC cards in here, um, such as in this front little pocket here. I can also probably put the charging cables in here. So, just a really neat little small case, especially if it's going to be a little primary uh, camera. And here again, it came with two tripods. I just thought it would be neat to have one of these on hand. Not sure when I would really use it, but you just really never know. So here's one of them. And I suppose I can go ahead and put my ZI8 on it. See how it works. So it just screws in like so. But like I said, I have another regular tripod that I'll be using, but this is nice to have a little smaller one. 
that would just whoo, don't fall over now <laughs> so yeah so it's like that and again we have a another one which I'm not really sure what this main purpose is for but seems like it works the same not really sure how to operate this yet but uh Okay, so after messing around with this, trying to figure out how to open it, uh, you basically pull this, basically pull this flap back or this leg back and open this leg and I guess you can adjust this knob here and, uh, wow, I don't think I'll probably be using this a lot, but, okay, um, yeah, this is feels as if it's really cheaply made, but um I guess if you mess around with it you'll finally get it to Yeah, I don't think I'll probably be using this at all. But uh in a way this has been fun. Nice little unboxing here. Uh from what I'm seeing here, I really like the quality of it. It really looks nice. Uh you're probably if you're in a market for a pocket video camera, you're probably looking at the I believe the what is it called the flip ultra hd i was definitely looking at that one and this one really like the look of this one the quality between both of them look fairly similar so in a way it's really going to be up to you which one you want to purchase oh and something else that i forgot to mention or something that i forgot that it had on here it's this little micro switch that allows me to film really close objects so if i was trying to Look at the text on here. I'll probably switch it to the micro, and so I can really focus on it like this Canon HF20 is doing automatically. But it's great that this has it built in. So, but like I said, I will be doing a video quality test, an audio quality test, uh, very soon. So definitely look forward to that, and I will see you next time.